The Book of Judges Chapter 1 It happened after the death of Joshua, the children of Israel asked of the Lord, saying, Who shall go up for us first against the Canaanites to fight against them? The Lord said, Judah shall go up. Behold, I have delivered the land into his hand. Judah said to Simeon his brother, Come up with me into my lot, that we may fight against the Canaanites, and I likewise will go with you into your lot. So Simeon went with him. Judah went up, and the Lord delivered the Canaanites and the Perizzites into their hand, and they struck of them in Bezek ten thousand men. They found Adonabezek in Bezek, and they fought against him, and they struck the Canaanites and the Perizzites. But Adonabezek fled, and they pursued after him and caught him, and cut off his thumbs and his great toes. Adonabezek said, Seventy kings, having their thumbs and their great toes cut off, gathered their food under my table. As I have done, so God has requited me. They brought him to Jerusalem, and he died there. The children of Judah fought against Jerusalem and took it, and struck it with the edge of the sword, and set the city on fire. Afterward the children of Judah went down to fight against the Canaanites who lived in the hill country and in the south, and in the lowland. Judah went against the Canaanites who lived in Hebron. Now the name of Hebron before was Kiriath Arba. And they struck Sheshai, and Ammon, and Talmai. From there he went against the inhabitants of Debir. Now the name of Debir before was Kiriath Shefer. Caleb said, He who strikes Kiriath Shefer, and takes it, to him will I give Aksa my daughter as wife. Othniel the son of Kenaz, Caleb's younger brother, took it, and he gave him Aksa his daughter as a wife. It happened, when she came to him, that she moved him to ask of her father a field, and she alighted from off her donkey, and Caleb said to her, What do you want? She said to him, Give me a blessing, for that you have set me in the land of the south, give me also springs of water. Caleb gave her the upper springs and the lower springs. The children of the Kenite, Moses' brother-in-law, went up out of the city of palm trees with the children of Judah into the wilderness of Judah, which is in the south of Arad, and they went and lived with the people. Judah went with Simeon his brother, and they struck the Canaanites who inhabited Zephath, and utterly destroyed it. The name of the city was called Hormah. Judah also took Gaza with its border, and Ashkelon with its border, and Ekron with its border. The Lord was with Judah, and drove out the inhabitants of the hill country, for he could not drive out the inhabitants of the valley, because they had chariots of iron. They gave Hebron to Caleb, as Moses had spoken, and he drove out there the three sons of Anak. The children of Benjamin did not drive out the Jebusites who inhabited Jerusalem, but the Jebusites dwell with the children of Benjamin in Jerusalem to this day. The house of Joseph they also went up against Bethel, and the Lord was with them. The house of Joseph sent to spy out Bethel. Now the name of the city before was Luz. The watchers saw a man come forth out of the city, and they said to him, Show us, we pray you, the entrance into the city, and we will deal kindly with you. He showed them the entrance into the city, and they struck the city with the edge of the sword, but they let the man go and all his family. The man went into the land of the Hittites and built a city, and called the name of it Luz, which is the name of it to this day. Manasseh did not drive out the inhabitants of Bethshean and its towns, nor of Tanakh and its towns, nor the inhabitants of Dor and its towns, nor the inhabitants of Iblim and its towns, nor the inhabitants of Megiddo and its towns, but the Canaanites would dwell in that land. It happened when Israel had grown strong, that they put the Canaanites to forced labor, and did not utterly drive them out. Ephraim didn't drive out the Canaanites who lived in Gezer, but the Canaanites lived in Gezer among them. Zebulon didn't drive out the inhabitants of Kitron, nor the inhabitants of Nahalol, but the Canaanites lived among them and became subject to forced labor. Asher didn't drive out the inhabitants of Akko, nor the inhabitants of Sidon, nor of Alab, nor of Akzib, nor of Helba, nor of Aphik, nor of Rahab, 
But the Asherites lived among the Canaanites, the inhabitants of the land, for they did not drive them out. Naphtali didn't drive out the inhabitants of Beth Shemesh, nor the inhabitants of Beth Anath, but he lived among the Canaanites, the inhabitants of the land. Nevertheless, the inhabitants of Beth Shemesh and of Beth Anath became subject to forced labor. The Amorites forced the children of Dan into the hill country, for they would not allow them to come down into the valley. But the Amorites would dwell in Mount Heres, in Ajalon, and in Shalbim. Yet the hand of the house of Joseph prevailed, so that they became subject to forced labor. The border of the Amorites was from the ascent of Akrabim, from the rock and upward.